Hello and welcome to Server Assist, assisting you in your server journey. Today I'm going to be revealing my profit and loss so far and this is going to show my year end figure profit and loss which I'm probably going to update to you guys every six months just to see how I'm getting on on my personal server journey. So stay tuned to see what my total profit and loss is at the end of the video. Before we get stuck into it, welcome all Sora managers. As usual, sm please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to be alerted about any new videos. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit and for more free Sora content, please check out SoraAssist.com. Links in the description. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, then sign up, use the link below to get a free limited card after buying any 5 cards. Okay, so like I say, I'm going to be sharing my profit and loss figure today with you guys. So as you guys know, I made a previous video back in October to show my profit and loss figure at the time at the time that that video was recorded. But I thought I'd do one of these videos at the end of every year and also maybe in the summer as well. So every six months going forward, just to update you guys on how I'm doing in terms of my SO5 journey. So as you can see from the previous video shown on screen now, this is a video from October. My gallery value at that time was £18,113 at the time of recording. And my profit and loss figure back then was £17,213. So let's see what my profit and loss figure stands today for a few months on. So I've actually invested a total of 1800 over a number of months early on on my survey journey. I've since then withdrawn £900. So at the minute, I've only actually got £900 in so rare. And I've not made any deposits for around eight months now. So bear that in mind when we come to the profit and loss figure at the end. So let's have a quick look at my gallery and see what sort of players I've got in my collection. Then we can go on to my SO5 results and see what rewards I've won since I've started my so rare journey. And then I'll reveal my gallery value at the time recording and also then my profit and loss. So I'll just have a head over to my club, look at my cards. So we'll start with the first page. So these are obviously gonna be my earlier purchases. So early on I picked up some decent players like Daviv, Santos, an absolutely fantastic player. Fukumori, Mkhitaryan who served me well as well. Van Housen who was obviously a very young, talented player. Furuhashi who's now of course moved to Celtic. I also bought um, Insigne, Cabela, Leo Dubius, who have been fantastic for me as well. Pellegrini was actually a reward that I won. Makano was a decent player. Also got Sillison as well in goal. Sobolov, who has recently come back to form. And I've snapped up quite a few decent players early on. My most expensive signing was Steven Begwus for £1,085 eight months ago. I've also got Dezuba as a reward. I've actually had another copy of Zuba as well. I actually had one of a hundred, but I did sell him on. And then a few weeks later, I actually won this card, which was good. I've got Vorma in there as well. Abliakov is a good young player that I've purchased. Wagner's been fantastic for me. I've got Sandra in there as well. Bond was actually a reward in one of the um, game weeks, so that was a fantastic reward. Ferreira was another reward. He's a fantastic American young talent. And as you can see, more recently, I've also been buying the limited cards. So I've started my limited collection. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, there is a limited series where you'll be aware of all my purchases and rewards in my limited journey. But if you've not checked that out, please do check that out on the playlists on this channel. So here are some of the cards that I've got in terms of the limited cards. So plenty of limiteds to go around. And I've also purchased Mulder recently as well, just because he was cheap while he's been injured. And I did need a goalkeeper for the Challenge of Europe. But I've not really spent that much on rares recently. I've mostly just been buying the limited cards, which I'm pretty happy with now. And I think I've got all the squads together that I want in my collection, as you can see here. So I'm hoping just to go forward and hoping to win some fantastic prizes. So I actually joined So Rare and become a member on August the 8th, 2020. So I guess you could say I was fairly early to the party, which was good. Obviously not the earliest though. The, I think So Rare has potentially been around uh, three years prior to that. Um, 
but I got in 2020 and that was pretty much before the boom in April 21 so I got in just at the right time really. So let's have a look at my SO5 stats on so rare data. So I've won a total of 1.25 ETH in the ETH thresholds. So I've not won any ETH from finishing first, second or third. So I've not managed to get a podium finish yet, unfortunately. But I have got this built up from all the ETH thresholds. So it's very important that you do try and get a team in the Global All-Star Division 4 to get those threshold payments because they can't add up. Total rewards though, I've actually won 58 rewards since my time on So Rare, which equals 3.41 ETH, which I think is fantastic going really. And I've also kept 20 of these 58 re rewards and sold the other 38. So the total value of the rewards kept is currently 1.27. So yeah, very pleased with these SO5 results there. And I'm usually challenging for some card rewards most weeks. But I've not got any superstars like Messi or Neymar or anybody like that. Can't really afford them to be honest. They're a bit too out of my price range and I think they're probably a bit too overpriced as well. So these are the cards that I've actually won. So these are all the cards that I've won in the SO5 tournaments. As you can see, some good rewards in there. Some fantastic rewards. Zaniolo was a fantastic one. I actually sold him though. Um, for around £1,000 and that's funded the, my limited card collection somewhat. Some fantastic rewards though, Gaia, Roninger, managed to sell them on for a good profit. Johnny Russell was a very good reward for the limited um, division, so was Senesi. So some fantastic rewards here as you can see. Some I've sold and wish I'd actually kept. <laughs> Min Gyu was probably one that I'd wanted to keep, I wish I kept him now to be fair. Um, so yes, I've won some fantastic rewards over my since my time on So Rare. A total of 58 rewards, very pleased with that. Okay then, so now let's move on to the current value of my portfolio. Okay, so here we go. So the current value of my portfolio, so this is the average selling price. At the time of recording, is £25,590. <laughs> Which is absolutely brilliant. So that in ETH is 8.10. I've got 53 rares and 78 limiteds. So very happy with this figure, as I'm sure you'd, you've guessed. And if we go back to the figures at the beginning of the video. So like I said, I've invested a total of 1,800 over a number of months. And that was fairly early on. I've since then withdrawn 900. So I've now only got £900 invested in so rare. And for my current gallery value to be 25,590, that is absolutely fantastic. And we have to remember that only in October, my gallery value was 18,000 pound. So this has gone up by 7,000 pound in three months. So very, very pleased with that. Absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look at my profit and loss figure. Taking these figures into account, so here we are then, here are the calculations. So as I say, I've invested 1,800. We've drawn 900 of that. Total gallery value at the time of recording is 25,590 pound. So total profit and loss is 24,690 pound. So I'm really, really pleased with that, as you can imagine. I've only actually got 900 pound invested in there at the moment. And I am looking eventually to take that 900 pound out of so rare so that I'm playing completely risk free. So if you've got any questions or thoughts about this video, do drop them in the comment section below. And if you do like this video, then please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and pick that notification bell to be the first to be alerted about any new videos. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Reddit. And for more free Surrey content, please check out SurreyAssist.com. Links are in the description. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up using the link below to get a free limited card after buying your first five cards. Okay, thanks for watching. I will be doing an update on my profit and loss figure again in six months time, so in the summer. So I'll see you then and I'll see you on future videos as well on this channel. Bye for now.